Hello and good morning and welcome or welcome back. If you have been here before, I'm so glad that you're here. Today's video is going to be just kind of a summer activity idea list. Um, I know summer's winding down, but if you have little ones, you can use these ideas anytime. They're pretty basic and inexpensive, so I thought I would take you along and show you some of what we've been doing to stay busy for the summer. So I have a five-year-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old, and we like to start our day with walks. We usually just do a lap or so around the neighborhood. I live in Florida, and it gets very hot very early. So we don't really uh, wait too long. If we can't get it done first thing in the morning, then we probably won't do it. But we love to get out and walk first thing in the day. And then after that, we'll usually spend some time in the house. I have a play kitchen in the girls' room, and I have to say it is such a great thing to have. If you can find one, I know they're all on Marketplace all the time. Um, you can probably find them pretty inexpensive. Ikea has a really cute one too that uh, doesn't cost too much. This one, this one was gifted to us, but the girls love to play in it every single day. So we will usually start some activities in the house once we get done with our walk and we play and have a good time. They also play with their stuffies and we just try to find things to keep us busy uh, in their bedroom and utilize the toys that they have. I do a toy rotation, so they do get to play with things and everything that's old is new again sooner or later but this is a great way to spend the morning and just kind of ease into the day when it's really nice outside water play is another thing that I love to do usually earlier in the day um, I try not to wait too late because this is later in the day and as you can see the Sun hits our back porch pretty hard once the sun starts to set. So we usually try to go out earlier when it's not so sunny on the back porch and the girls play. We have lots of water toys. We had sand in the sandbox, but now we either fill it up with water or we use it to store their toys outside. And they have a water table. We'll put soap in it, like bath soap. We don't have bathtubs in the house, so we'll put soap in it. We also have bubbles for the girls to play with. So all of these things just make for a really fun outside time. A lot of times I'll give the girls popsicles and it's just kind of something to look forward to during the day and helps them to burn some energy as well. So if it's nice where you are and you can incorporate some water play, I definitely recommend it. It's just fun for everyone. We also have some sidewalk chalk and I let them color usually all over everything I really don't care uh, and they enjoy that as well so that's something else really inexpensive you can pick up and kind of keeps them occupied for a while at least my kids it does If you have access to a splash pad, I know a lot of people have access to public pools. We don't really have that close by, but we do have this awesome splash pad that is inside a park and we love it. We've only gone once so far, but the girls had a blast and we went before it got too hot. It's kind of way too hot right now, so we haven't been, but we went first thing in the summer and we definitely want to go back again because the girls had so much fun splashing and playing. We had to pay for the cost to get into the park, which was $6 for the whole car and then the girls were exhausted when we were done so that was a win in our book Now in Florida, we definitely don't have sunshine all the time. So for those rainy days, I have to suggest this Nugget knockoff. Uh, I will link the one that I got down below. I got it on Amazon and it was cheaper than the Nugget, but it's pretty much the same. Maybe it might not be the exact same quality, but 
we love it and the girls like to make forts out of it they climb on it they slide on it uh, I think that there's very few minutes that go by during the day where they're not playing with it so I highly recommend that if you can find one I think they're on marketplace a lot too we also love watching YouTube videos to get our wiggles out Danny Go is one of our favorites right now so I will link him down below we also like Miss Slinky and there's a few more that I put on that are just fun for the girls to kind of exercise and yeah get them moving so if we're cooped up inside due to bad weather they can still get some of their energy out and have fun doing it you can always make a trip to the dollar store or the dar dollar spot at target and pick up some crayons and coloring books we've accumulated quite a few so we have a lot to choose from a lot of times if it's raining or just later in the day I'll pull out the crayons and the coloring books and make a snack and the girls will just color this usually lasts for a while as well and they love it Lucy also likes the activity books she's got some dot to dot books and she has a lot of fun with those too Another fun way to pass the time, if it's bad weather or just any time, is to bake with your little ones. Eleanor is still kind of small, so I usually will do this with Lucy in the morning or during nap time for Eleanor. We were making cupcakes this day for our oldest daughter's birthday, so Lucy really wanted to help. She's a great help, so if you can have your little ones help you bake in the kitchen, again, it's just something fun to do, and you get a sweet treat when you're all done. So, a win for everybody. I wanted to share something fun that was sent to me from the brand Anki, but it's also really awesome for the girls when we're inside. It's a dance mat. It is non-slip on the back, so you can put it on the floor and it won't slip, and it's also very easy to clean. It takes batteries, so if you have some AA batteries, you can pop those in. I think it took about four, and it was good to go. It has five different modes. It has a dancing mode, a music mode, it has arrows mode, a memory mode, It also gives you a difficulty selection, so it has easy, medium, and hard. And you can also turn the volume up and down, which is great if parents don't really feel like listening to the songs, although some of them are pretty catchy. It also has a diamond pattern and it lights up. So if you have ever played Dance Dance Revolution, this is kind of like that. And the pattern will show up on the front and then correspond with the diamonds that are lighting up down on the mat. Which one lights up? There you go really fun. The girls had a blast with it. It gets them some exercise. 
month and it keeps them busy and it was fun for everybody so I definitely recommend it even our oldest daughter got in and had some fun with it too If you would like to get one, I will link it down below. They can learn how to maintain balance and improve their reactivity and also hand-foot coordination and just the dancing. My littlest was not able to do any of these fancy moves and she didn't understand it, but she had so much fun just dancing on the mat. So I think that this is just a really fun gift for anybody. If you would like to get one for yourself or you know somebody else who might have small kids that would like to have one or even older kids like our 19-year-old who totally did an amazing job and she really had fun. This is just another suggestion of something that you can do to pass the time in the afternoons. Even if you don't have a really fun dance mat, you can always just have fun dancing together as a family like we do often. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some ideas if you're looking for things to do with your kiddos to wind down the summer or just any time that you might be needing some new play ideas.